New Balance recently announced the addition of All-American Cooper Flag to the NB family, joining Cameron Brink and an elite player roster in the brand's mission of growing the game with the next generation of athletes. In part of New Balance's ongoing commitment to supporting athletes off the court, the Boston-based brand plans to work with Cooper on community initiatives in his home state of Maine. To shop the two-way V5, Hesse Low V2, and all New Balance basketball products, visit newbalance.com today. Hashtag no music, no intro. Saints Block Party podcast coming at you with this recap pod. If you are listening to this, you have probably just witnessed the Saints lose to the Philadelphia Eagles at home 15 to 12 in a game that I'm sure will be talked about in numerous ways. Um, the Zoom, the Zoom was just crazy at some points. It, it, <laughs> Uh, in terms of going they, through it, bro. going through it. It, it, I'll say this: games like this, games like this, is why I'm so glad I'm not emotionally, I'm oh, emotionally disconnected, boy. bro. Oh my Thank god! god man. Thank you, Jesus. Because <laughs> if not, I would be distraught right now. But I'm not. Um. I mean, we could take this game in a lot of ways. Um, one thing I think we we should probably start with is we knew this kind of coming in, and I thought it would be the plan is that the absent the absence, excuse me, of Taysom Hill was a key 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 factor in this Amazing. game, and I just I knew it was going to be the case. I thought potentially that. McC- um, excuse me, not McCoy. Uh, it's all the chat, YouTube chat. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. But I thought going in, maybe to counter Taysom not being active, they would use more Hulker. I don't think I saw Hulker on offense at all. Um, and this this game, we could talk about the defense. The, the defense allowed 15 points in 2020, 2024. If your defense allows 15 points, they had two turnovers. They had a blocked they had a blocked field goal or from a blocked punt. And they also had a turnover on downs from a tush push trick play that did not work, which I knew that was going to happen in this game. The, this game, if we, and I get it. No, no Taysom, no McCoy who gets injured in the first play of the game. At some point, Maurice gets injured a little bit. Um, and you, your entire offensive line changes. You move, you have to move left Patrick to center, you have Uda or Odo or out there at left guard. This game plan, Vic Fangio came in and said, we are not going to let them going to run the ball. We're going to shut down the run completely. And we're going to put this game on the shoulders of Derek Carr. Derek Carr is going to have to beat us. Exactly. Period. Like that, like it, you, you can, and I get it. There's some plays um, Rashid, you know, Shahid should have made. I don't think Clint, Clint's play calling was that great, even with the banged up offensive line. But at the end of the day, this game was put on the shoulders of Derek Carr to go out and win it. To be fair, he went out at, when it counted, he went out and went out and, and scored a touchdown. However, when they got the ball back, he throws a game ceiling interception. And for this Saints team, to show that they are legit this season and can make some noise beyond just the regular season. When an opposing team comes in and and can shut the running game down, Derek Carr and Clint Coop, like there has to be something where it it has to be a functional offense. This felt very similar to last season on offense for the Saints. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I said this all off season, man. The, the running game will be so vital for this team because it it sets up everything. It yes. protects their car. It keeps the defense off the field. It allows the defense, it allows the team to play more complimentary. And we've seen through these two weeks, everybody was talking about like, man, what is it going to be like when this team gets tested, when they fall behind? Mm-hmm. But what's crazy is they didn't even really fall behind in this game. They were up three for most of the game. It was three to nothing. But they couldn't move the ball. Well, they moved the ball. There was some running game there. But we were getting third down situations. And Jalen Carter was just a 
one man record crew. Anytime it was, you know, anytime Derek Carr had to step back and throw, he was batting passes. He was pressuring Derek Carr. It was, it, it didn't look good, man. Like people going to fuss about this game. They're going to argue, you know, it was on a defense because the defense allowed 15 points in the fourth quarter after not allowing anything for the, most of the game. They allowed 15 points in the fourth quarter. Is it on the defense? Is it going to be on the offense? You know, who is it? Is Derek Carr's fault? This everybody's hands kind of dirty in this game. You know what I'm saying? It is. I thought the, I thought the offense hands were dirty. You can give them, you know, excuses about the injuries, which were, you know, you can't hide those. You know what I'm saying? Like Eric McCoy was when he when he went down, bro. I was like, man, yeah, because not just like not just the blocking and the physical stuff he does, but just the the communication he has on the line, of, you know, the line making sure guys, you know, have the right assignments and stuff like that. He's such a key crucial role. So when he went out, that was like a huge blow. And you got Taysom Hill already out. Uh, it just it just set up for, you know, it's going to be a long day in the office. And like you said, they said, look, man, Derek Carr, you're going to beat us with that arm, bro. And, I mean, you, you can kind of say he didn't answer the call. You know, he made that pass to Olave, to, you know, that, that touchdown, the go-ahead touchdown to put him in a winning situation. Uh, they had the weird – Two point conversion call, a pass to Jamal Williams, uh, Kubiak. Kubiak had some adversity to it. It was a tough day at the office. Everybody hands were dirty. Bear Kubiak, yes. Dennis Allen. Look, the def- the defense is it's a weird game because you look at the score, you'd be like, oh man, it you know, fifteen points, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't really complain about that. But then you look at the production. I mean, Jalen Jalen Hurts was twenty nine to thirty eight for three hundred yards. Um Saquon Barkley had 147 yards, bro. 8.6 yards of carry. 8.6 yards of carry for Saquon Barkley. Dallas got it. Had a 170, 100, 170 on 10 170, catches, 170, bro. bro. Like that ain't. I understand. Here's, I'm not blaming the defense. I'm not putting this all on the defense. But I'm just saying everybody had their hands dirty in this one, bro. They did. Listen, Big Creep had an amazing game. One of his best games. One here's 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 the thing. At some like from like the second half on, the Eagles was missing their right tackle. They're missing their right guard, and they still couldn't get pressure on Jalen Hurts. Been on my radar, bro. Like you, you you've been talking about how the defense haven't had had enough sacks, and and, and there was some there's a lot of a lot of plays in this game. I just think about this. Listen, and this is not. There's two two things that stand out to me. Well, three. Someone said in our Zoom, and I think it's it's true, and I don't think the Saints are, like, excluded from this, to be fair. The Saints' depth got tested, and they didn't answer the call. To be fair, I don't know how many Saints, I don't know how many NFL offensive lines, when you lose your starting center, things are going to be good. It's, it's not many, right? It's not many. Second thing that's on my radar, and I, it's, it's been on my radar last two weeks, You cannot, you cannot go into a season and think that you're going to run predominantly 11 personnel and play a lot of offensive plays where literally there's really only two receivers on the field, Olave and Shahid, and think that you're at some point, that it's going to be successful long term. You can't do it, bro. They need a third guy. Rod receiver, tight end, they need a player that has juice in theory that player may be at perry in theory that player may be kendra miller the the two gra- the two guys that you drafted last season we have not seen it yet kendra's hurt at perry can't get active that's a huge that's a huge thing third thing third thing not that opposing defenses didn't have this game plan going in but now every deep not now every defense is. We'll see how long Eric McCoy is hurt. Now every defense is going to say, "Okay, we shut this run game down. We gonna have, we we put it on Derek Carr to win the game." It, here here's what's funny, and this is not this is not this is please hallelujah. Do not take this as something that me trying to start something regarding the agenda. But this is why ultimately, at the end of the day, Derek Carr is an eleven what eleven year twelve year NFL starter. We know who and what Derek Carr is. As a quarterback, at some point in the NFL, big boy football, your opposing quarterback has to go out and play 
quote unquote, a little hero ball when shit get a little messy, when a play don't go the way it's supposed to go. And he had the drive that he needed to take the lead. But when you are, you were driving down to try to score a touchdown to win the game, you throw a awful, awful, awful interception. I want to get to our, our, our dude, uh, Brute Saint with the ten dollar super chat. We appreciate you. Thank you. First Brute. time catching your screen. So frustrating. One thing to get blown out. Another thing to get two turnovers, two fourth down stops, a block punt, and capitalize on zero of them. That's why it's frustrating. Frustrating. Very, very frustrating, bro. That that was the most frustrating during during watching that game. To, to get the uh, the goal line interception, Honey Badger. Uh, we got two interceptions, right or one? There's just one. One interception. It was uh, the honey badger uh, interception. interception. It was the the big creep fumble recovery. Fumble it was recovery. The, the the missed sixty yard. Listen, I don't know how you coach a worse game than you than Nick Sirianni coached across the fucking field, bro. I have I I've seen a lot of football games in my fucking life. That was one of the worst fucking games I have ever seen an opposing coach coach, and they Terrible. still lost this game. Terrible, bro. Terrible fourth down calls by him. Uh, terrible. Uh, pre-snap penalties uh, by his offense. Um, like, that was the thing. That was the frustrating thing. Like, we were getting handed a lot of gifts. Some were gifts that we were creating by the defense, yes. and some were just, I mean, Give reps. it to her, her, bro. Her, just run the plot. On the plot. A block punt, a block punt that came right when we needed it, too. It's like we couldn't make nothing of it. So, you know, ultimately, you know, I think. At, at one point, I don't want me to cut you off, Ryan. At one point, it was a backup right tackle, a backup right guard. No Devontae Smith. Like, that, like no A.J. Brown. Nigga, what, did, I, did I just witness the Green Bay game? Uh, the Green Bay game again? Like, what, didn't the Green Bay game happen week three? Yeah. After week three, didn't week it? Happened week three, yeah. Devontae Smith went out and immediately Saquon Barkley runs for a, a, a damn, what, 30, 40-yard touchdown. It's like, what? What are we doing? You know, and it was a question going into this game. Is you know how has this defense stepped up from stopping the run because they've been horrible at stopping the run the past two weeks not just running quarterbacks but stopping the run period and I think we got proved today that this run defense is still a problem it's still a problem and it's gonna make for some long because they were fortunate the past two weeks they didn't have to face really great Russian teams the Eagles are a great right. Russian team so yes you're not gonna face this type of Russian team every week I mean and you're not gonna face a defensive line like this every week like I said Jalen Carter was just he was ridiculous Zach Bond Man on like mission, I did bro. I did not want this to be that Zach Bond type of game but we let it be that type of game because it was bro we we let him work downhill instead of putting him in coverage instead of on that one big play to Alvin Kamara it was like where was this all game like what I, I felt like I was watching a old school like late, later Saints season Sean Payton or Pete Carmichael called game, bro. Where right. it's like you got you got AK and I and even out AK I, Dante's been all over this. Dante think that he got he got banged up a little bit in this game. I think that's right. But even though you got a banged up AK, why are you not trying to exploit him and cu- put him against Bond, put him against No Kobe Dean and say, yo. Y'all need to run it until the Eagles show me that they can stop it, right? Almost, almost identical to the NFC Championship game, right? Or, or no, there was yeah, NFC Championship game. That's what that's what Sean Payton did. And I'm not I'm not comparing it to. Can I real quick real, something that was on my radar yesterday, bro? It drove me crazy. Um, vibes were feeling good this this weekend. We got 73 people right now uh, concurrent going on. Hit that um, like button. Uh, Eric Flynn, I think that's his name. He requested to be retweeted because he he said I blocked him too soon because he said that he was capping for us to give Reese, you know, more, more of a chance to not cut him. Listen, you're hundred percent right. We we should have we you you were right. Then that same day, he he comes out and tweets that with the win today, Dennis Allen would have had night would be. 1918 for a season as head coach, which would tie the same amount of games that Sean Payton would have been in the same number of like his first, what, two and a half seasons as, as Saints head coach. What is the huge fucking difference between the fucking two of them right now? Like, what, what are we doing? Stop. Stop. Please. 
in, 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 a court, in a court, in the most Saints thing ever, bro. Sean Payton with the Broncos, he sees Todd Bowles on Sunday. He's like, oh, Todd Bowles? He said, I, I'm 0-2, but this is my uh, game right let game. Let me, 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 let me go ahead and go, you know, long dick, don't let dick the Bucks who've been running all over the NFC South with Bo Nix. Saints could not take advantage of it. Now, I'm going to ask you this. Hold on. Let me, let me catch him on these super chats. We got our dude, Demon Time Slime, 199 super chat. He said, the D can take us far. We just need to need the offense to get right. $5 super chat from Ken, Ken Foot. Y'all think the offense can get, back, get their swagger back, or are we just falling back to our old, well, no, old ways? No, I think they're going to get their swagger back, man. Like I said, you're not going to face a defensive line like this every week. They, the Eagles heard this shit all week, bro. All they week. heard it all week. They was not trying. You saw Jalen Carter on the sideline going crazy, just coked out. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with him. Oh, like, that, they that's heard it all week. Nick, Nick Sirianni too. But the the defense the defensive line on the Eagles heard it all week about stopping the run. They heard it all week from Vic Fangio. Vic Fangio talked about it. I saw an interview by him. It was like it was like it reminded me of like when uh, we played the Vikings a couple years ago in the playoffs, and everybody was dunking on Mike Zimmer and all that stuff. And Mike Zimmer was like, "All right." Well, Gonna see, you know what I'm saying? It's it's funny because I I tweeted I tweeted yesterday. I said this is the perfect game offensively. You get the ball first, you go out and you just throw that shit deep because they they yeah. was they was amped to stop the run from so amped, fucking bro. jump, bro. From, from jump. jump, bro. But you look, man. Like I know we've been able to get the pass plays with Shahid, but like Dante was kept talking about in the Zoom. Is like we don't really have that big guy to go downfield and it, just bro. win. Just throw it up uh-huh. and win and snatch it out there. Not that, you know, Chris Olave made some great catches. She, she, he can make, I mean, she didn't have a catch in this game, bro. You nope. know what I'm saying? Like, they went, the Eagles went to this game and said, bro, we ain't letting Shahid get us. And look, not doing he, it. you know, maybe, you know, the ball did hit his hands a couple times. So who knows? And there was that one amazing catch he made, you know, going to the ground. At oh, low that, and then get, doesn't challenge it. Doesn't challenge it. Doesn't challenge it. You know, if, if, it, this law sucks, but – and it does, like, take the shine a little bit off what the Saints have been doing the past couple of weeks. But it doesn't really – it doesn't really make me feel like, you know, like, oh, here we go again. This team is trash. You know, I still think this is a good offense. But, I mean, they basically told you – what they thought about Carr yes. in the first two weeks. I mean, he threw, he completed 11 passes last week. Um, he completed, what, 19 passes the week before. So this is an offense that is built to protect Derek Carr, not just yes. protection from, like, pressure, but, like, protect him as just a from pass himself. period. Yeah, from himself. And it's, 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 it's hard to live. You're going to have games like this where – it's hard to live like that. And even then, they had a chance to win this game, bro. They, they did. really did have a chance to win this game. It just it just sucks they couldn't make the they couldn't make those key moment plays in the end to win. Whether that's allowing that big catch and run by Goddard. Um and we've seen we've seen that play over and over again where, you know, they get guys crossing, the man coverage guys get running into each I other mean, and you I, get some I, open I free. Get- I get running man, but you third and eighteen, like maybe maybe third and eighteen. Listen, man, like I don't I don't want to I don't want to like second guess DA, but like maybe maybe run a zone, like maybe just run a zone, bro. Like maybe. third and eighteen, bro. Like protect. protect. They think God have been God have been killing you all game. It all felt game like you've been killing. It felt, it felt like the TJ Hawkinson game all over again, bro. All over again, bro. All over again. That's what drive uh, me is when the is when it's the same like it's the same, same things bro. happen all over again. It's like come on now. Uh, Sherm with the two dollar super chat. He think about the, think about the start that start civil war right here. He said, "Does hashtag the agenda win this game?" Man, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I mean, I, I would start like to see it. <laughs> I would like to see it. But look, man, look, look the, the Spencer Rattler. He gonna th- he gonna he gonna put some balls up in there too. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, they could sure. be up for grabs. So I'm not even gonna say that, but. I, I just, I do, I'm, not I do. I'm not even about to go there. I'm not about to go there. I'm just not even. I'm not even about to go there, bro. Go, go a little bit. You go ahead and go there, man. Sorry, bro. Listen, I'll say this. I do think in this game, there may have been some throws that he may have been able to make 
that Derek Carr doesn't make. Now, does he win the game? I don't know. I, d- I don't know that. Now, he, he he's a little more mobile than Derek Carr. But ultimately, listen. In this offense... And this and this is what this is what the team has to show to us as fans is that when shit does not go on like if shit goes off script, how do you adjust? Because I feel I feel like in the second half, the Eagles offense made adjustments to how the Saints mm-hmm. defense was playing them. I don't feel even with the even with the banged up offensive line, I don't feel like the Saints offense made adjustments to how the Eagles were playing them. It just it just no. felt like it just felt very similar. Now, this is Clint Kubiak's second year as a as an offense coordinator. It, it it's a it's a you know you got you got to grow as as a, as gotta a play grow. caller. We we saw it we saw it as Sean Payton as an offensive head coach. You know from two thousand two from oh six to to future season. So there's a growth period to it. But I do think this game shows you in essence some of the limitations that this team does have in regards to not having, like I said in the zoom, bro, I said, if I'm the saints, if I'm Mickey, I'm calling Brandon bean right now in Buffalo and say, Hey, can, can, can I get Dawson Knox for a fifth? Like you, you need, you need some, something, you need something because think about it without, you know, without Shahid didn't have a catch. So basically the players that touched the ball today was Tipton, AK Olave. Olave. That's, Nigga, it. that's it. That's three pe- three people, or and and I guess jo- Jamal Williams. You had four players touch the ball today. That's not gonna get it done, bro. It ain't gonna get it done. I mean, Carr completed fourteen passes, man. Fourteen. You know, like he threw the ball twenty five times. I can't count how many he had batted down. I mean, it felt like four or five at least. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, <laughs> Do you do you have a problem? This is something our dude Rob had a problem about. Do you have a problem with them going for it on fourth and one instead of kicking the field goal when they was in and AK got stopped, but it looked like he got the first down, but they caught. I don't know if I had a problem with that one. I don't think I did either, man. Like yeah. just just the the ebb and flow of the game. Like I don't. I yeah, the way I, that was flowing, I, I didn't I didn't have a problem with that one at that moment. I have to go back and look to see, like, at what point of the game that was. Was that the third or the fourth quarter? Oh, good question. I want to say third, but it might have been fourth. I think I th- I didn't see nothing wrong with that, bro, because we were talking about it on the Zoom. The defense had been on the field yeah. way too long. Yes. Way too long. And that's why this is such a such a complimentary football game. And this is why everybody deserves blame, because – yeah, the defense did allow a lot of plays, especially towards in the second half. But when you constantly on the field, I mean, the offense was barely on the field, man. And right. When you they, constantly on the field as a defense, it's just – you're going to give up some plays. It's just going to happen. They essentially forced six turnovers in this game. A fumble, an interception, a missed field goal, uh, two fourth down stops, and, and a, a punt. punt. That huh? is six turnovers, Ryan. Six okay. Six turnovers. You have to go win game. Nigga, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to one. Way, way six too to many one. extra possessions. Oh, no, way too six, many extra. Six to two. Yeah. Six to two. Way too many extra possessions for the offense to have that much little time on the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get all those extra possessions. But it, it was a great game plan. Like, and look, man, like I said, this offense is a hundred percent about execution. Like, and I mean, when I say execution, I mean like all eleven have to execute to a T. And games like this, when all of them don't, and you got injuries and stuff like that, you get this games is, like, like this. even even that. And I know people are probably upset that it was called to Jamal, and I think they probably called it to Jamal because it was a tendency breaker. But even that play that was like the fl- the, the flare screen to Jamal, you had three blockers right there, bro. You had yeah. three blockers. And I know people were upset that it was thrown to Jamal, but in a play like that, if that is blocked well, I'm not – like that's probably a first down. I'm not saying Jamal going to play yeah. for a touchdown, but that's right. probably a first down. It, it all it Cedric goes Wilson blue execution. Block. Yeah, execution, bro. And this is an execution offense. It's like it is. everybody got to do their job on the, in this offense. So 
that was one of my worries, uh, not even just in this game, but going into any game, like that everybody doesn't execute to a T like they have been the past. Because we saw how it works the past two weeks with everybody executing, everybody's at one chorus. It's it's beautiful. But when it's not, it is. you know. But it's not. Mm-hmm. And you go, and you, you, you would hope games like this you could rely on your dogs, whether that's your quarterback, whether that, you know. But I don't think we're there yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we're, we're there yet as a team. We're not. Uh, give us one second. We want to let y'all hear from our new sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. We'll be back in a minute. New Balance recently announced the addition of All-American Cooper Flag to the NB family, joining Cameron Brink and an elite player roster in the brand's mission of growing the game with the next generation of athletes. In part of New Balance's ongoing commitment to supporting athletes off the court, the Boston-based brand plans to work with Cooper on community initiatives in his home state of Maine. To shop the two-way V5, Hesse Low V2, and all New Balance basketball products, visit newbalance.com today. It's the greatest time of the year again. Football is back, and it's here to stay till February. Win up to a 1,000 times your money just by choosing higher or lower on your favorite player's stats, touchdowns, passing yards, and more. I love underdog fantasy. I used underdog fantasy just last week. The pick was so easy to use. Higher or lower on the Bills. Dolphins game, so simple could not recommend you using underdog fantasy more making picks on underdog is straightforward and signing up is even easier just head over to underdogs simple to use mobile app or underdogfantasy.com sign up with your promo code block party and underdog will give you a free pick to use on your first cash pick them entry plus up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash when you deposit that's underdog fantasy promo code block party to claim your new customer special of a free pick and your deposit offer must be 18 or older 21 or older in massachusetts or arizona 19 or older in alabama or new england and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply void in colorado concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.ncpgambling.org in arizona 1-800-NEXT-STEP that's 1-800-639-8783. Text next step to 53342. In New York, call 24-7 Hope Line at 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY to 467-369. Thank y'all for listening to our new sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. So let me catch up with the chat real quick. Luke said, and why was Clint unable to adjust to this? The five-man pressures open up for quick passes. I, it, 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 it was on my radar. It was on my radar in terms of just, I was like that first drive, you saw them going and kind of going to like the quick game with, with Olave and getting first downs. And mm-hmm. like, I felt like that, if they were going to win this game, of just how the Eagles were playing it. That was going to be the key of how they were going to win. I don't know if – I don't know. I would have to go back. Listen, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the type to go back and watch all 22. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. Where are, um, the, you know, where are the middle of the field throws, you know, to the tight ends? Yes. You got Foster yes. Moreau, Jawan Johnson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where are the middle of the field, eight yards, intermediate? You know what I'm saying? Like, where are those plays? It's just – it was really weird. Someone, someone even said that in the chat. They, um, jo- you know, where was Jawan Johnson? Someone asked, yeah, Cam Dub- Cam W with the one ninety nine super chat. Where was jo- where the fuck was Jawan? Uh, Jacob Doe it said first the red rifle was turning up. Not surprised. Uh, car ball placement was off. He is who we thought he was. Hashtag the agenda. That was Jacob. That wasn't me. Um. Ken said, was McCoy going down that big for the line? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It was. It was. Um, Dante said, uh, the middle was there all game. They worked the middle, the fi- the first draft, the first drive, excuse me, and then went away from it. 
It was weird, man. It was just it was just a weird game where the things that were working, they they went away from it. And you know, like you said, there was many plays in this game where it was a a, a batted ball at the line of scrimmage and things yeah. like that. Cam W with the four ninety nine super chat, appreciate you. They stopped quick passes when Carr almost threw that pick six. Here's the thing, though. This is the NFL, bro. Like, to me, to me, that is a direct reflection of how the offensive staff, more importantly, Clint Kubiak feels about Derek Carr's quarterback. I'm just going to I'm 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 leave it right there, bro. Like, to he's me, telling like, you. I mean, he's telling, he threw 14, he completed 14 passes. I don't know, like... He's telling you, bro, like, he, he's not going to let this – Clint Cooper, like I said, I'm not going to let this game go through Derek Carr. Meanwhile, the defensive coordinator on the opposing team is saying, we want this game to go through Derek Carr. Go through Derek Carr. So, and so it's just like <laughs> – That's it. That's how you get zero the, points. The, I the, mean, three the, points, it, you know, that's – The, it, the in, well, immovable objects against the unstoppable force, bro. Like, just like, <laughs> like <laughs> um Ken Foot, $2 super chat. Mike, Thomas, or Devontae Adams? I can – oh. I won't say I'm reporting this. I think Devont. I, I'll say this. I think Devontae is very happy with the situation in Nevada. Um, and if at some point he did want to change, I do not think that he would want to play with Derek Carr again. MT. I don't know if MT is healthy. Like I'll, 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 I'll just say it. This, this is. I'm gonna throw something out. I'm gonna throw something at you right now. I know he doesn't fit the prototype of what the Saints need right now. But even having a and I don't even know if he's healthy. I would assume he is. Even having a player like Hunter Renfro in this game in a game like this, bro, to just go and like because whatever you want to say about Hunter Renfro, bro, he can win off the line of scrimmage and he can go. He know where the he know where the where the first down marker is. He sits that shit down, and you have a player that Derek Carr is familiar with. Like I would not, and I'm not. I don't know anything. Sometimes I know shit, but I don't know anything. I wouldn't be surprised right now if, you, if they made a call to Hunter Renfro right now, bro. Say, hey, you, you, need to come, you need to come on down. Because Bub Memes. Inactive. Inactive. Healthy scratch. A.T. Perry, inactive, got, got sick. Like you said, bro, just just, 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 just just annoying, bro. Just, just, just annoying, annoying, man. <laughs> just annoying. I see why them coaches were talking about this. <laughs> uh, sports highlight said in the run game was working when they ran behind Fuaga, but – yeah. But somehow they kept running to the right side. I, I don't know if they Nick were trying to break. Sense. I don't know if they was trying to break Tennessee or what. Like I, I don't know. I'm going to go uh, back and watch. But I swear, every time they blew, they ran to the right, it was a disaster. Was, every time, disaster, bro. Wolf, the NFL season is around the corner, and you know what that means. Sports gambling is going to be in full effect. Yes, sir. The degenerates are out. They're trying to make some money. Money. Look no further than Swamp Daddy Bets. He's partnered with DubClub.Win, and you can get all of his NFL and other sports plays for $5 a month with promo code SAINTS. We are partnering with a guy, Swamp Daddy Bets, who is going to have access to some of the best cappers you can get. If you sign up through Swamp Daddy Bets, you can get access to Dub Club for five dollars, and that will get you access to some of the best sports cappers out there. So you can make the best plays for the week. You get access to their Discord, all the reliable information that you need to make money. Money. That's dubclub.win at Swamp Daddy Bets. Promo code Saints. Promo code Saints. Five dollars a month. Start getting out there and making money uh scoop scoop bundy said philly game plan was selling out on the run and making Carr earn his money and he did not earn his money i mean that, that's that's simple he 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 didn't do it um that 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 that, that, that interception at the end was just i gotta look at the all 22 because i'm like what are you seeing here like one you're in a you in you have like one time i left maybe none i can't remember it was so, one. They had one, bro. One left. You throw it in the middle of the field. We got like less than fifty seconds left. You throw in a deep shot who was double covered to Rasheed. He's double covered. A low ball off target. <sighs> like what is happening to your brain in the moment? Those moments, like what's happening to your brain? 
Like the pressure th- those moments, uh, I, I, that, that's what it is. That's the pre- that's the pressure I'm talking about. When Clint's it, trying to protect, it, it, the wasn't, pressure. it wasn't even it wasn't even like physical. It's it's like it's literally mental pressure, mental pressure. of of oh sh- shit, I gotta go, I yeah. gotta go win the game. Like what what what, what coverage are they? And this is what Clint has tried to do. He's tried to take away that mental pressure from Carr, exactly. but when it is clutched, and this is this is why. Patrick Mahomes and et cetera, et cetera, get paid what they get paid because when it's nut cutting time and that pressure right. is high, they rise to the right. top. We've seen, we've seen, here. we've seen Drew Brees ice water with fifty seconds left of the game, and it just looked like la la. Bruh, I, I still remember <laughs> that game that ended up being the Minnesota Miracle game. It was fourth down. That man comes out after timeout, ice water, a dart to Willie Sneed. Bruh, I, I, I remember dark, it clearly, like, like fourth and sixteen or something like that. You know, or the te- what is that Texans game a couple of years ago? Uh, so, look, we're learning more about this team, man. We are learning more about this team and what they're made of. This was this was one of those games I I wanted to see them show me different. I wanted them to be like, look, we're we different. We built different. Yeah, we ain't worried about all the noise and not all the hype. We're going to go out there and get it. So, you know, it kind of knocked them down a peg or two for me. Just a little bit. I still think it's going to be a fun Offense, a fun team to watch the rest of the season. I think we're going to handle up on the Falcons. We'll get to that later this week. But, uh, you know, it's, it's still going to be fun. So, Saints fans, just don't get too down. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let this team stress you out too much. Or please don't. You Monday. Don't, please don't do that. Still well, enjoy your week, you know. Real quick thing, bro. It's crazy. Do you know indirectly we have we, – we built this Eagles defense that came in and stopped it, bro. Bro, Think it just it. it just makes me sick. Jalen Carr. That was the Trevor Pennon pick. Okay. Jack Bond, free agent. CD Deuce. We built this Eagles defense. Built it. <laughs> well, it's so annoying, bro. Oh my god. Uh, Jalen me, Carter, bro, because he just my, wrecking shop, man. Like just wrecking it, bro. God. And here, here the, here's the funny thing. We were we were down on Brian Brice, right? Right. We we were down on him. He he had been he'd been quiet first two games. This man had a fourth down sack and 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 another huge sack in this game. Like so, yep. even even Brian Brice, like, uh, let me catch up on this chat real quick. Uh, Dante said he had an off. Uh, this speaking of Derek Carr, he had an awful inaccurate game. The throw to Shahid Shahid was horrible, even though he caught it. Uh, Brock. I was talking about A.T. Perry. Perry does stuff in, in games, but I guess he doesn't think practice is important, which is a big deal with these coaches who need to trust the guys. I, I, I can guarantee you that's a big part of it. Guarantee. Mm-hmm. Um, sports highlights. We was marching down the field, first possession of the game with McCoy in it. It was easy as soon as McCoy got hurt. I said, oh, man, this is about to be one of those. We, I, we said it. If you, was in our, if you was in our Zoom, uh, patreon.com uh, slash slang spark party, uh, if you were in our Zoom, we we said as soon as McCoy was like, oh, we 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 in one of these games. We was yeah, these, one of these games. games right here. Oh, Lord, <laughs> Lord, Lord. Uh, uh, Tony, he said Drew was an assassin late in games. We were emphasized, spoiled. We absolutely fucking were. Cam W, thank you for the one ninety nine super chat. Pressure bus pipes and Derek Carr pipe is Lisa and wide. If you know, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> uh, Scoop Bundy. But again, you won't see um, Jalen Carter and Jordan, Jordan Davis. I don't even know if Jordan Davis even played that much. I know. I didn't see tackle duel, duel every week. So next week could be better. It sh- in theory, it should be. In theory. Jay Sean, did y'all see the play where Reese and number 74 ran into each other and was blocking each other for the whole play? Did not see that. No. Did not see that. <laughs> Geraldo, need to, need to figure out the offensive line before Chris Jones has his Thanksgiving dinner early. Ooh. I'm not even looking at the Eagle. I'm not even looking at the Chiefs right now. Like, with it, like no. the, the, they got to be focused on the Falcons. Period. 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 And here, here's another crazy thing about this game, if you really want to think about it. All week, DA probably has his game plan was like, we got to shut down. We got to shut down. Jalen Hurts. We can't let him run around. He and he got loose on some plays. Don't get me wrong. He got loose on yeah, some plays. But for the most part, much. Like 25 in the one game, I think he, he was really well contained. And you and and this is what I talked about on that preview pod. You got these ghosts that you gotta slay. So even though in in theory, yes, you shut down you shut down Jalen Hurts in the run game, he still passing wise 
went off. 311 this, yards. 311 I, yards. Jalen Carter. Jalen Hurts, I mean. I'm going to ask you this. And this is a question we'll be asked you most of the season. We've got 77 concurrent viewers still watching us right now in misery about this game. Listen, guys, we're not in misery, man. We just talk, we just talking ball. There, there's, there's nothing uh, misery about us right now. We just, we just vibing and chilling. 240 views on this recap pod on YouTube right now. Please like and subscribe. Please. What is your current also? Shout out to our true Greg Rosenthal for getting his own NFL daily for the Saints to drop the L. <laughs> Check me out. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Um, what did this game do, or does it do anything to you about the long, like longevity of this team? Like, it, does it does it change how you see them? Longevity, like the season, or longevity? The like, season. The season. The season. Uh, like I said, it took him down a peg or two because I, I started buying into the hype a little bit, man. Like, man, maybe this team can't win a, you know, get to the NFC Championship game, you know. I'm not saying they can't now, but it, you, it's like, you know, watching a, a football season, you're just learning more. You're getting, you're getting more data. You're getting more data, mm-hmm. data so you're able to form better opinions or predictions or prognosticate like you want. Um, so it does knock them down a peg a little bit, but I do think I do think this will still be a good offense. I they just like I mean the script is out though. The script is out for out, other bro. teams, other opponents. They know what they have to do now. Not every team will be able to do it, but they know what they have to do to beat this team. And that's you know do their best to limit the run, put the game in Derek Carr's hand. And look, I mean, we were like I said, we were fortunate. I mean, the, the Eagles put up almost 500 yards of offense, but they couldn't score. Like imagine score, if they were putting up points. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it, it would it would have oh, been man, nasty, bro. It'd have been it'd have been nasty, bro. It would have been nasty. So, Clint Kubiak, now we about to see what they're getting paid for, bro. Like you got to be able to adjust. If you if if the game if they're taking away the run game, you got to have answers. You gotta got have to have other answers. Got to. Uh, talk to our, our dude, our dude, Zach. Zach was getting us those, uh, green tea shots in, in Houston. Uh, he said, yo, homie, not to down. Zach's also a little drunk right now. I, I don't know. Oh, yo, homie, not, <laughs> not to down play this loss at all. I'm frustrated as, as fuck too. I'm a pessimist like Adam. Fun, fun fact. Not a pessimist. Um, just beat Atlanta. Hashtag love you guys. I'll even go as far as I say almost everything in this game of what the Saints needed, I predicted it in the in the zoom, bro. Yeah. Every single I said they need I said they I said they need to turn up right here. They they need one. Sure Honey did. Badger. I Honey said bad. they gonna stop the tush the tush push. They, now, they didn't tush run the tush push. They didn't run the tush push. But they stopped it on fourth down. I said that they was gonna miss the field goal. Miss the field goal. I said that they were gonna go down and score a touchdown. Goes down and score touchdown. Only thing I did not, that I was wrong on, is that the defense did not hold on when they needed it the most on that drive where the Eagles went and scored a touchdown. And here's the here's the, here's the crazy thing: that touchdown that the Eagles scored worked out perfectly for you offensively. You're like, okay, they scored. All right, cool, they scored. They scored. Right. We know that we now got the ball. We got a, a minute plus to go down and score a touchdown. And the process for Derek Carr gets sped up a little bit. The yep. pressure. Pressure zone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is, this is, this is what it is. Cam W, appreciate you with the four ninety nine dollars super chat. We have almost $40 in chat revenue right now. I'm not saying that I hope the Saints lose a little bit, but if this is what we get, I just, <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not wishing that because it has been so much fun. It's it been so been much fun, fun with the Saints winning and there's so much <laughs> interest. Been. Like, I, don't, I want them to get back to Please. at least. At least just making this shit interesting because this we can't do this every week, bro. Like three can't, three bro. points, three points for four, three quarters, bro. Three points. Come on, man. Poverty. Come on. Uh, Cam W said Eagles have a factory at offensive line. Their backup guards would start for us. Man, it, uh, it was Ma- crazy. Michael said the Saints have Olave, Shahid, Kamara on offense. That's it. That's it, bro. It remind. It's very similar to how the 2018 Saints were. Mm-hmm. 
you 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 shut down a K. You shut down Michael Thomas. Who who else did we have? Ted Ted again a little bit. Eight uh, yeah. not AT Perry. Uh, Traquan a little bit. Hey, bro, what what did we scream all all season, bro? All juice. all season. Juice. We need juice. juice. We need juice. And look, they had limited resources. You know, they took Fuaga. It's you know. In the in the draft, which you know, not complaining about it at all. He's been at all stellar, stellar player. But it's just like this team needs juice, man. Like juice. needs juice. They need Kendra to get back ASAP. They need to figure out what's going on with At Perry. They need to be making calls before the trade deadline. Somebody, bro. I'm later to, maybe tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna go through and start looking at other teams to see you know who was kind of could be on a trade block or stuff like that because. They need, if they want to do something that, and just maximize this year, they're gonna have to make a move. Got to, bro. They Jimmy Graham, and I'm not Jimmy Graham. Just out there, bro. Like he he's there, the bro. exact. And I'm not saying that they're gonna go down the Jimmy Graham route. I don't know if he even fits into Clint Kubiak's offense, but at this point, he's the exact type of player. Big, physical, can make plays in contested and has juice that this offense needs. Because at some like we saw, this is a prime example today, when a team t- is taking away the deep shots and the deep ball to Shahid. Alave had a good game. Alave had oh, like, a damn good game and showed why he is who he is. I don't care what the fuck anyone says about him. He's a good ass football player. You need something else. You need a, a little bit, a little something else. And I don't know what that is or who that is. But they got to, like, I know if you watch and just, you just go watch the film. It's very condensed. It's very, it's, it's, it's very, we said in the chats, AK, it's a lot of it's, it's Shahid, and that's it. And, and, and when Taysom's healthy, it's Taysom. Taysom wasn't healthy. And I knew, I knew when he got, when he got downgraded and he was doubtful, I was like, it hurt, it hurt, it hurt on third down, it hurt on third and short. It Everything. hurt just in protection. Um, I mean, it, it hurt on so many levels. Such and a the Saints, player, bro. And the, and the crazy thing is, like, they weren't even penalized that much. Like, the Eagles no. were penalized. And I know people are probably going to get mad on the on the pen and penalty, bro. Like, I said, I said in the Zoom, I'll stand by it. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. You for If he, if he's going to contribute on the offensive line, you have to let him be him. You be have him, to let him be him. You know, be a little smarter, but... Yes, no, I, yes. Keep that aggression. Like, I, I want you to have that aggression. I want it. <laughs> Give me all um, the aggression. Jay Sean said, where's Chris Hogan at? 7-Eleven, always open. <laughs> always open. Um, anything, anything else from from this game? Nah, man. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, Gerardo said, have flashbacks of Kittle run when, when uh, Goddard broke free. Oh, my God, man. It's like what the hell? It was, it was such a weird defensive performance because they had the defense had like some great plays, great bro, and then they had some like what is happening here type of plays, like you know, honey it, badger it felt, missing the tackle. It felt here. like a Saints. It felt like a, like a like a Saints game, bro. Like a Saints game. Yeah, Alante Taylor uh, the missing the tackle. You know, it's just it was a weird it was a weird game on defense and offense, but especially on defense, um, offense. I think you know. Clint Kubiak, he got to take this one personally. Derek Carr, yes. they got to take this one personally because they, like, I'm Derek Carr, bro, they, they put the game on you. They basically called you out. They said, you a hoe, bro. You a whole hoe out here. Basically, that's basically what the Philly defense said. And, I don't know, man, you kind of folded a little bit, bro. Do you remember ooh, what game was it? One is it? Was it Tampa Bay? It was a playoff game. Where basically the defense challenged Drew Brees to like that they, they didn't think Drew had it. Remember was oh, that Tampa Bay? Was, was it Tampa? Or was it the Panthers? It was the Panthers. That's what yeah, thank you. Thank you. Panthers said, Drew, Drew, number nine? It, number nine was in the building today, Ryan. Number nine was in the building today. This 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 is what we go this is what we show. Number nine, this is what we go show Mark Ingram, who the, the boom and zoom was <laughs> The Panthers came out and said Number nine ain't got it. He done lost his step. He ain't got that arm. He can't. We go. We going We going force Drew Brees to beat us. That's what they did in the playoffs. I game, remember. Bro. I remember. <laughs> I remember. That was 2017, I think, because that's when they started. You know, they started running the ball more. They yep. didn't let Drew Brees go downfield. It's like okay. Well, Drew said. You know okay. what Drew said? 
Right. But, and put on a a fun a, a fucking manifesto of how you fucking play the quarterback position in in clutch. No question. <laughs> Tony said, "Why do we keep embarrassing Drew like that every time he goes to the game? Yeah. Not deserves better. <laughs> Not, this, this this like it feels like it feels it, it it sounds weird to say. It just feels like Drew knows what who we are, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Drew's yeah. probably at that game like, yep, yep, I remember yep. this. I, yep, I remember this. <laughs> Feels about right. Um, uh, I think you said it perfectly, man. Like, Clint, Clint got to go to the lab. He got to pull Derek Carr aside and say, listen, look. He called you a bitch. Now, if you don't, if you don't want them, them two niggas to be talking bad about you again, I, 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 I need you to go out and start producing. Because if not, if not, that shit gonna get loud. Also, it, uh, can't just throw out one one quick point. One quick point. Week one, week week one, week two. We haven't we haven't we going crazy. It's it's great. We blowing out teams. It's amazing. You and me not even talking about the agenda. And yet, there, like this game, and I'm I'm not gonna go down that road. But I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be succinct when I say it. And they had two cut waters to me, although my, my buzz is worn off. Games like this is why the agenda began in the first place. Exactly. It's games like this. At some point, and I maybe 18 can go out and do it one day, maybe he can't. But at some point, you need your quarterback to go out and play big boy fucking football. And this is, I'm not throwing a shot across Derek Carr's bow. I'm not doing it. But when push came to shove, he could not go out and play. I want to even give him a little grace because in the drive where they needed it, he went out and got a touchdown. But in the second drive where they needed it again, he faltered. And when you're the starting quarterback, you're the franchise quarterback, you getting paid what you getting paid, you can't falter. You got to glow up in the lights. So until... I'll, and I'm going to say this, until Garrett, Derek Carr shows us in a game like this that he can go out and win, the agenda is never going to go away. Ever. No. We, I mean, we want someone that will rise to the occasion. You know what I'm saying? And maybe he can. Maybe he can. But you got to show us, bro. Like, show, show us. us you, got a, you, got, you got an opportunity today, and you couldn't do it, man. The ball was in your hand at the end of the game. Period. Ball was in your hand. Whoever you want to blame, we can blame the defense, whatever. The ball was in the hand at the end of the game for you to go down and win. You win. score, you win. Period. Period. And couldn't pull it off. So, you know, it just, it's just one of the things where, you know, with their car, we're back to we know who he is, and there's like a ceiling there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a ceiling, uh, you know. There is. There is. Um, I'm, I'm going to catch up on the chat, and then we're going to get out of here. We uh, Dante said he, referring to Rattler, he would have been at, at, at least been able to extend plays or get the ball out quicker. Yeah, that's a crazy thing. Like, I felt like at some like some plays, Derek Carr was getting that ball out quick, and other plays, Derek Carr was just being Derek Carr again. Yeah. Um, Tony said, silver lining, better to get exposed like this early and have time to get right before the stretch run and or the playoffs. I agree. It, it, it shows them what they – need to work on and it shows them it, this game was a great mirror for them as a team to look at themselves right right great game as a team for them to look at themselves um jay sean said them ak check down wouldn't have, would wouldn't have been nice at the end of the game it is what it is it is what it is we will we we this is every week every week for us this season as the Saints Block Party podcast, every week this team, including Derek Carr, as, but the team as a whole, they have to go out and show us. They have to go out. We have been doing this podcast for almost five fucking years. Five years. We 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 know how shit looks. First two weeks look great. We not we not what we not going to just erase the first two weeks like they didn't happen because they absolutely did. And, and it was impressive. But now when you get hit in the mouth, now as a football team, you got to go out and show the fans, and show yourself as a football team what you made up. Because whatever you want to say about Nick Sirianni and he coached an awful fucking game, Vic Fangio had his team, had the team defensively ready. They were ready. ready. 
ready, locked in. So you just got you, and it's funny because before the game started, uh, someone I don't know who it was, someone in the Zoom said, "If like this game, if if Sean Payton was was coaching this game, like this was a game that they'd be worried about." And I was like, "It for me, it's the exact opposite, right? <laughs> like this th- going into this game, like this was a game I would be most confident if oh, I yeah. had Sean Payton as a head coach." Like no, not- this was this was a huge game for DA, and he came up short. Right, point blank period. He came up short. We'll see what happens next week against the Falcons. That's a huge fucking game against the Falcons. We will be back covering going over that game on the preview pod. We thank y'all. We still got sixty three concurrent viewers right now on this bitch. We got almost three hundred views just on the recap pod. So we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Don't let this game and the outcome of this game affect y'all days. Please don't. I'm about to go downstairs, have some food, chill, watch the rest of football. Be be good. Do, don't let these dudes affect your moods. Please don't. At all. Please. Please don't. We will be back this upcoming week on the preview pod. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Take care of y'all selves. With that, we out. Peace. New Balance recently announced the addition of All-American Cooper Flag to the NB family, joining Cameron Brink and an elite player roster in the brand's mission of growing the game with the next generation of athletes. In part of New Balance's ongoing commitment to supporting athletes off the court, the Boston-based brand plans to work with Cooper on community initiatives in his home state of Maine. To shop the two-way V5, Hesse Low V2, and all New Balance basketball products, visit newbalance.com today.